Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which helps us in iteratively traversing diagonal of a binary tree. First, let us take an example. The idea is to use a queue to store only the left child of current node. After printing the data, of current node make the current node to its right child if present. A delimiter null is used to mark the starting of next diagonal. Now let us see the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. Note that we will be using a queue data structure. We pass the root node which is 3 to diagonal print function. Since the root is not null, we enqueue the root node and a null as a delimiter into the queue. As the queue is not empty, we enter the while loop and take a node temp which points to the front of the queue. Next, we pop the front element of the queue. Since temp is not null, we go to the else part. There, we print temp. Then, we enqueue the left child of temp into the queue. So, 2 will be enqueued. We set temp to temp's right. Hence, temp will point to 5. Then, we print 5 as temp is not null. Since the left child of 5 does not exist, nothing is enqueued. We set temp equal to temp's right. Hence, temp will point to null. As temp is pointing to null, we break out of the while loop inside the else part. We continue with the outer while loop as the queue is not empty. Now, temp will point to null and null will be dequeued. As temp is null, the if statement is satisfied and we check if the queue is empty. As it is not, we set the cursor to a new line and push a null delimiter. We continue with the while loop. Now, temp will point to 2 and 2 will be dequeued. Since temp is not null, we go to the else part and print temp. So, 2 is printed on a new line. Since the left child of 2 exists, we enqueue 1 into the queue. Next, we set temp to temp's right. Hence, temp will point to 4. Then, we print 4. Since left child of 4 does not exist, nothing is enqueued and we set temp to 4's right which is null. As temp is null, we break out of the while loop inside the else part and continue with the outer while loop. So, temp will point to null and null will be dequeued. Since temp is null and q is not empty, we set cursor to a new line and push a delimiter into the queue. We continue with the while loop and now temp will point to 1 and 1 will be dequeued. We go to the else part and print 1. Since left child of 1 does not exist, nothing is enqueued and we set temp to temp's right which is null. As temp is null, we break out of the inner while loop and in the outer while loop we dequeue temp. As temp is null and q is empty, we return and finish execution for this program. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.